Hey guys, so today we are going to answer a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, is there any way to sharpen your, your mind and become a better software developer outside of actual coding? So that's what we're going to talk about. Let's get into it. So this question is uh, it's a very broad one, I'm going to be honest, because there are a very like a, an enormous amount of different things that you could do in order to well not only be a better software developer just a better human being if you will and i mean i can stand here and i can tell you the obvious things like oh, you should exercise you know keep the blood flowing things of this nature uh, socialize rest properly sleep eat i mean all of these things factor in into how well your brain is going to function but one skill that I would like to talk about, which is a skill that funnily, it's kind of funny because as I was progressing through my university days, it was one of the most common things that were mentioned to me over and over as being something that was truly important. And at the time, I mean, I was looking around and I didn't see any programmers who didn't fit the bill for this description. It is only nowadays when I've been doing this for a few years and I've actually met the people who are outside of this definition. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about soft skills, yes. So let's talk about soft skills. Now, half of you are gonna go, oh, Frederick, it's such a pointless bullshit thing. And most likely you are the people who need this the most, because the other part of the conversation is probably filled with the people who understand, yeah, but isn't this obvious to everybody? Actually, it's not. You see, the thing is, guys, when it comes to software development, half of the equation is to be skilled enough and have the knowledge to actually produce what it is what is needed the other half is to deal with people because the thing is it is very easy to build something from nothing when there are no limitations and there are no miscommunications there are no mistakes there's no shift in scope there's no stakeholders who are unreasonable or unforeseen events that happen due to ske like schedules stuff of the stuff of this nature these things are everyday stuff and this is the stuff that usually if you find this extremely frustrating i mean everybody to a certain degree finds it frustrating but the people that I, at least i find who are very, very deep into the academics of software engineering are usually the people who get the who get bothered the most. These are usually people who are not so well versed in, well, basically socializing and dealing with people. And unfortunately, it's today, well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, I think it's actually a very good thing. Today, it is at least as important for you to have the social skills that are needed in order to deal with customers, co-workers and managers and so forth. And the reason for that is very simple. You are not alone when you write software. Software is a group activity these days. And it's been that way for quite a while, if you think about it. It's really only if you are the sole developer or for whatever reason at your company, you are doing something in such isolation that you don't really require anybody outside and nobody should, quote unquote, bother you with their stuff because you're doing your thing right. That's very rare these days. Usually you're part of some sort of team and part of a bigger company where you have different stakeholders and you need to be able to deal with these stakeholders. Now, to give you something concrete, one of the main things that you will find to be very valuable is to have the, like, for the first and foremost, you need to have a business mindset. That is, I would say, the biggest contribution you can make to your own personal development when it comes to doing professional software development. One of the biggest mistakes juniors make when they start working is that they get their heads filled with all of these idealistic thoughts about how to write perfect software and all the best practices. Uncle Bob has been whispering in their ear. Kent Beck and all these people are talking about test-driven development. They're talking about all these ideal cases. And although these things are correct, and it's absolutely true that you should carry these sorts of things with you. You need to have the pragmatist mindset. You need to be pragmatic enough and have the, have the objectivity. And this unfortunately is very hard when you're, well, basically this fresh. It's very hard for you to, to let, let that go a little bit 
and write software that is may not it may not be what you want to write it may not be what you dreamt about but it is this thing that is being required of you to create and the analogy i like to make here is virtually that if you dream about making cars for example it is very likely that you're dreaming about making supercars and most likely you're going to dream about working for a company such as say ferrari but most of the people who work in it do not work or well, most people who make cars rather they do not work for ferrari they work for a company say as volvo and if you have and this is very 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 common in beginners if you have the mindset that you're going to build supercars when you go and work for a company like volvo or volkswagen or whoever you are going to be a very bad fit for that company because they are not building supercars. They're not building supercars. They're building a completely different so sort of car. And the process of creating things at these companies will be reflected in the company values and the company business goal. And once you, if you don't fit that model, if you will, you will get dismissed. You will not be able to work there. Same thing for software development. If you want to write super clean, sophisticated, amazing code, it's only possible to achieve this in two different ways. Either you have to work for a company where this is a requirement, or you have to very slowly over time deal with, because that's the common case, you deal with a lot of bad code, if you will, and very slowly improve it until it becomes something that is more manageable. But this ideal case, it doesn't really exist. So what I want you to take away from this is that it is a m much more important investment for you once you have the skills. That's number one. Of course, you need to actually know how to write good software. You need, to, as I said, I'm not dismissing these idealistic talks that you're probably listening to because you should absolutely listen to them. But you, as I said, you need to level have a leveled head about this sort of stuff so you should know how to write good software first and foremost but once that is done it's actually more beneficial for you from a professional point of view to actually focus more on understanding business requirements understanding the value of your code understanding how your code is fitting into the bigger picture of the company that you are working for and if you are truly unhappy with the way things are moving at your company you can as i said either try to improve things a little bit a little by a little because you will not yeah, trust me nobody's going to listen if you just sit and say that no i don't like this I'll w i want to rewrite the whole thing nobody rewrites an entire system just because one developer or like even a handful even of all the developers said we want to rewrite it unless it is feasible to do so and the other part being then that you can quit and have an you know get yourself another job but start by actually trying to get good at human communication because that's where it starts if you want your manager to listen to you if you want you to have a good working relationship with your co-workers social skills matter a lot and i can promise you if you invest in good social skills you will find that your software actually turns out better because the better you are at human interaction the less mistakes you're going to make the less communication is going to be created or misunderstandings and the likelier you are to actually get your way have a great day